College Board of Regents, nine seats, six candidates, and three seats needed to be filled. Jay Barrett, Irene Hughes, and Michelle Fortunato, 22-23% uh, of the vote. Those three candidates will be moving on with the Amarillo College Board of Regents. Now to the Amarillo ISD Board of Trustees, seven candidates running to fill three seats. John Mark Ballou, with 11,000 plus votes tonight, 26% of the vote. Steve Trafton, Connie Brown, there are your check marks, and those three will be filling seats on the AISD Board of Trustees Place 2. Now to the ISD Board of Trustees Place number 3, Kimberly Anderson uh, appeared to be the lead. Now to Place 2 is Catherine Wigand with a check mark and Jody Davis. Those two, I guess they're going to give it to Wigand. She does have the uh, check mark there in the Canyon ISD Board of Trustees Place number 2. So Catherine will fill that spot. Now to the Canyon ISD Board of Trustees Place 3. Casey Posey with 38% of the vote, followed by Jared Wirt with 30% of the vote. We have more for you from Canyon. The ISD Board of Trustees place seven. Lori Gilliland with almost 3,000 votes tonight and 43% of the vote, followed by Tiffany Rogers. Four school districts in the Texas Panhandle have bonds on the ballot this year. News Channel 10's Devin Darmstetter has been covering them all week. Devin, the numbers have been rolling in. Please share the results. Greg, let's start with Highland Park, where voters have decided to pass both bonds on the ballot this year. Proposition 1 is for $129 million and would cover new additions like a career and technology education center, an, element, uh, an elementary school with child care options, new softball, baseball, and soccer fields, new roadways and transportation, as well as school safety measures at existing and new buildings. Proposition 2 for Highland Park is for $1 million and would cover new technology devices for students and staff. Now in Pampa, Prop A has passed. This will mean the district can now pay for a new career and technology education facility, along with the new Travis Elementary Edition and renovations. This will end up costing a total of $62 million. Prop B for Pampa was also passed for $68 million. It will cover future projects for the campuses, as well as updated traffic flow solutions like new buses and transportation facility. Moving on to Dow Hart, their bond has passed for $50 million. This bond will cover a new intermediate campus, allow for campus renovations, district-wide HVAC updates and renovations to the baseball and softball complexes. We have two props in Perryton, and both have passed. The first one is for $35 million and will cover renovations to both Wright Elementary and Perryton High School campuses. It will also provide a new secure play area at the elementary school and allow for safety and security updates to both the high school and the elementary campus. The other is for $4 million and will pay for new restroom, restrooms, concessions, and homeside parking at Ranger Stadium, as well as a new locker room, offices, a training room, and a weight room. Greg, all in all, there's not one school bond that didn't pass this election. For in-depth coverage of what all of these school bonds cover, head to our website at newschannel10.com. Greg, back to you. Thank you, Deb.